All right, hey, what's going on, everyone? James Nine Numbers here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we're going to be going over the petitions and voter registration statistics as of the week of July first, two thousand and twenty-three. And um, some interesting things have that have happened this week. Uh, the Constitution Party has made some gain, gains in registered valid signatures. So yeah, they're getting closer to potentially getting certified. No label, no, not no labels. The Ford Party has gained some new signatures this week. Yep. And um, look at this. There's this guy named Malcolm Tanner who's basically running for president. He's got his own YouTube channel. If you always want to check out his policies, he has a YouTube channel, Malcolm Tanner. I might put it in the link in the description. But um, yeah, running as an unaffiliated for president to be in North in North Carolina's ballot. Yeah, here are the signatures. Eighty-three thousand one hundred and eighty-eight. That's around how many signatures unaffiliated voters had to get. For 2022 for U.S. Senate last year. And keep in mind. Remember last year that the Green Party got like sued off the ballot. And they only needed like 13,000 some not signatures. A little more than that. Yeah. Um, I wish Malcolm the best of luck. He's really going to have to put in a lot of grassroots. And especially for the fact that since technically he doesn't really have a lot of time. No, no, no unaffiliated candidate you're seeing right now has gained any signatures as, as of this point. 